Welcome to another episode of R&D Africa on AAU TV. Behind me is a multi-purpose improved fish smoker that has the ability to trap smoke into the air, thereby protecting the health of the user. This is what we bring you on R&D Africa in this episode. Join me, Mamiya Kwa Uta Kwanyame, as I unveil what an engineer at the Kumasi Technical University has to offer. For many thousands of years, our early ancestors discovered an effective means of smoking fish and meat using ovens. At the time, ovens were made with brick or mat construction and were heated with wood or charcoal. These ovens served as a means to avoid spoilage and preserve meat. And although the process were discovered many moons ago, it has been passed down from generation to generation and has been advanced along the way. Today, Oven have been improved and the technology used in their design has considerably improved since the time of making the world's first oven. However, most commercial fish smokers in Ghana rely mainly on ovens that require the usage of firewood and charcoal rather than the electric oven. Unfortunately, the method adapted by these fish smokers consumes tons of charcoal and firewood, which has been identified as a factor fuel in deforestation, environmental degradation and air pollution. Scientists have also correlated some health risks such as poor eyesight, burning eyes, dizziness, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, cough and headaches with this method of fish smoking among other challenges. Kumasi Technical University seems to have taken the lead by introducing a multi-purpose improved fish smoker with features that directly reduce to an extent the aforementioned challenges. The multi-purpose improved fish smoker is, is basically a fish smoker. Sought to do was to resolve the challenges uh, the fish smoker, the women who smoke fish are facing. There are basically three challenges they face. The first one has to do with the amount of firewood they use. They use a, a lot of firewood to smoke a small amount of fish. So this fish smoker reduces significantly the amount of firewood um, that has to be used to smoke the fish. The second challenge they face has to do with smoke. They are consistently exposed to smoke. And um, the, the fact remains that smoking kills. Even a cigarette of smoke does uh, a lot, but they are exposed to huge amounts, so it kills. So this fish smoker uh, actually removes the smoke from their environment and then puts it directly in the atmosphere. Uh, the third challenge uh, they face is the heat they are exposed to. And uh, what this fish smoker does is to completely eliminate the, the heat, the amount of heat they are exposed to. And uh, when all is said and done with the fish smoker, the fish smoker, the, the heat retained in the, in the oven. We are currently at the Asafu market and this is where the fish smokers are located. And so as you can see, there are two types of ovens being used here. There's a round one and then a squared oven. The round oven is mainly used to smoke fishes like tuna and salmon. And the squared oven is mainly used to smoke herrings, which is locally known as uh, emmane. Stay with me while I interact with some fish smokers located inside the Asafu market. My name is Mamiesi and I am a fishmonger at the Asafu market in the Ashanti region of Ghana. I started this profession with my mother when I was a child and I have been doing this for about 20 years. We are faced with a number of health challenges like coughing due to the excess smoke generated by the firewood. It is sometimes accompanied by problems with the eye. Whenever we visit the hospital, we are cautioned by healthcare professionals 
to reduce our exposure to smoke and fire, as it may lead to some heart-related diseases. At first, with just 30 Ghana cities, we could buy enough firewood to fill up the oven, but the situation has changed. Now, the prices have increased to 50 Ghana cities, which is very costly. I was still here. So you see, I've been here for a very long time. I was here during former President Kwame Nkrumah's presidency over 40 years ago. You know if you are sick, you are supposed to go to the hospital. Everyone has what's going on with their health. As for me, I go to the hospital whenever I am sick. Someone would prefer not to go to the hospital when they are sick. But I don't do that. However, I haven't been hospitalized because of smoke or anything else since I started. My eyes are also functioning properly. We had some tech students advise us on the effects of smoke on our eyes, but I have no eye problems. I would like it a lot if the inventors can design a more improved version of what I have because these ovens pose a lot of threats to us. The multi-purpose oven has been designed to retain heat even after use. The retained heat can then be used to dry fresh products such as pepe, oku and others. In order to produce the oven, the team of inventors developed an initial oven that was smaller in size. Along the line, they developed a more improved one. The first fish smoker was developed with funding from the World Bank. With the availability of all materials for the production of the oven, it will take only two to three weeks to produce a fully functioning oven. The motivation to develop the fish smoker um, is derived from having observed some women smoking fish in Takrade. That's where we uh, observed all the challenges they face. And then when we came back, we designed uh, the fish smoker to resolve those, those challenges. Uh, one of the things that I didn't mention was also the fact that we don't export our fish because of the uh, uh, polyaromatic hydrocarbons generated using the traditional fish. So we have sought in our design to try to eliminate uh, that also. Another challenge we, we feel we must introduce um, or address is the fact that we should develop modular systems. So the um, women should be able to knock it down and assemble by themselves uh, very, very, very easily. And lastly, um, we should be able to um, use the waste heat to generate hot water. So what we intend to do is to introduce some coils so that as we smoke the fish, we can pump water through the coils, exchange the heat with the water so that by the time the fish is uh, smoked, you have the, they will have some hot water to clean and to do other useful things. So this is the um, multi-purpose um, fish smoker or oven. So at the base, we have the uh, the, the furnace where we put the fire and then we have the place where we smoke uh, this oven is made with for two compartments and then we have the the chimney the chimney is high so that the smoke effectively would have to go through uh, the chimneys up so when we open it we see the uh, the trays and uh, so this is where we put the fish So as you can see, we have some fish, two types of fish, red fish, salmon, and um, we also have some chicken. So this should easily be able to handle about um, five cartons of fish so that we use very little amount of wood to be able to smoke it. So at the moment, we've spiced the fish nicely and uh, we are smoking. Another thing with the, this fish smoker is that we, we don't manipulate the, the fish or whatever it is that we are smoking. 
And then it is because the draft ensures that there is enough heat circulating around the product we are smoking. So once we put it in, we only monitor to see whether it is cooked or smoked. And that is it. The second thing is we do not allow the fluid or the oil from the, the product to have come into contact with the fire. That reduces the heat and um, generates other products which make it unwholesome. So there are some... We have... Yeah, we have uh, this here to be able to take care of the fluids coming from the, the fish and other products. The challenge with the traditional setups is that uh, they, they lack the lagging. Uh, some of them are using um, barrels, just the barrels, and then they have the trays in there. And um, the, for the others who have attempted some improvement, the heat just passes through and then it's, it's, it's gone out. But what we have done is to contain the heat within it for some time, at least for a longer period of time, uh, so that it takes very little firewood to, to continue to maintain the heat. Okay, so the first thing is that it's completely lagged, as you can see. So we maintain uh, a lot of the heat inside. The second thing is um, it, the user is exposed to less smoke, less heat, and it actually uses less uh, fuel. I, I would have to go to the back to see the, the way the fuel works. So what's happening is that we have um, a draft, any draft of air, uh, drives the heat from the fire generated in there. Um, it circulates the heat within or around the fish and then the, the waste heat um, is driven to the atmosphere. So these are the three major things. We will plead with the inventors of the smokeless oven to keep up with the good work. However, when working on the ovens, we would like to be consulted in order for them to design and produce ovens that will be useful to us. This is because the fishes come in sizes and they must be designed to fit the purpose. Engineer Dr. Ribeiro has a first and second degree in mechanical engineering, fabrication and production, and his third degree in petroleum. He has a degree in renewable energy and energy efficiency, which his passion for the production of energy efficient tools stems from. Aside this, I've created a, a gasifier stove. So the gasifier stove uses, um, again, wood to generate a large amount of um, fire for particularly the women who boil or who um, make palm oil. If you visited them, you realize that they, they, they usually use um, palm kernel shells. Yeah, and it, it makes a mess. So the gasifier stove is particularly to assist them to boil the palm nuts from which they can generate um, uh, the, the palm oil. Um, we are also in the process of um, completing our solar mobile phone charger. So what that one does is that the, 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 the charging system is there. It's out there in the open. The sun charges the battery. We use it to charge the, um, the phones. Yes, and the, the other thing is that we also would also want to we would outdoor our um, solar e-trike. That's the solar aboboya. So we know that the aboboya has to buy fuel um, and um, use it to move around. But what we want to do is to remove the use of the fossil fuel and power the, the movement with solar power and batteries. Thank you all very much to all our favorite and cherished viewers on this show. This is where we end the episode. But as for me, I'm definitely going to try the chicken in this. Our inventors out there, do make sure you contact AAU TV. I wish I could say more, but I do have to try this. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>